Brown voting for? Everyone else voted against. Now we go back to the main item. And we're trying to recreate it. Listen, and there are a number of council members who wish to speak to the main item as amended. Council Member Adams. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to speak on the main item. And first of all, I just want to thank the administration. And I'm glad you had a safe trip back. But one of my uh, concerns, and I've spoken to all the stakeholders, I've spoken to Director Eakin, I've spoken to the Great Houston Builders Association, I've spoken to Super Neighborhood. I've really just made my voice heard on this particular item because I just want to make sure that when we have this opt-in piece and where we're going for the next two years to make sure that the outreach is done, that the meetings are held, that everything is done in its power to make sure that we're moving in the right direction. Um, the community have my full commitment and support as a council member to do whatever I need to do to go out to the communities and support the planning department and making sure that whatever we need to be done to make sure our communities are um, informed about this and I just want to make sure that we have a well the administration's support as well as the plan department support that we're going to do all that we need to do to make sure our communities are educated that there will be a strategic plan put in place I know that Director Gaffrey has worked really really hard to communicate with the stakeholders and super neighborhoods on working on the plan of meeting with our constituents so this is my biggest concern that we have but I have been um, committed to that they will put something to, well, something has already been put together about how we're going to do the outreach. So I just want to make sure that we stick to this because one of my concerns that I was sharing with them is that, you know, um, I'm in my, my downturn of my last term. And it's not about me right now. It's about how do we move in the next two years moving out to make sure that the commitment stands and there is something. So whoever comes behind any council member who's not going to be here next year, that they have the same information that we're receiving today on moving forward with the protection of our neighborhoods concerning Chapter 42. So that has been my concern. So I just wanted just to, to make that public comment. And thank you for listening. Councilman Adams, uh, assuming this passes today, uh, Director Gafford has proposed and has put in her overtime budget uh, 20 initial meetings in, in various parts of the city outside the loop uh, and understands that depending on the neighborhood that you will work with the district council members on Spanish translations, Vietnamese translations, and Chinese translations. Uh, we believe we can uh, cover the waterfront very effectively and just as Ms. Gafford has done over this last year and a half because we re hit, re hit the restart button on this, we believe we can, we can take it step by step through the neighborhood. And that's why we have the year-long transition. Do we need to do anything in this upcoming budget process on this or it's just already been submitted in her budget? Do we need to do an amendment or do we need to put anything She forward? is. The personnel to accomplish this and other things that we're going to expect the planning department to do is, is in, will be presented. So it will just be rounded in her budget when she presents yes. to you. Okay, thank you, Mary.